Round three of the ABB FIA Formula E World Championship, the Rome E Prix. Get ready for qualifying. Verline ninth. Yeah, P2 is a good result for the qualifying starting front row, so definitely uh, happy about that. Uh, the race is what counts. We go green in Rome. I was just behind Van Dorn and he was breaking quite early, so I saw an opportunity to pass. We had contact. Andre Lotter up the inside and there's a crash. We would have had the stuff to win, so it's very frustrating, but yeah, we have to focus on tomorrow. I mean, I've been now in all the races so far in the points, so that is definitely positive. Now we have to put our heads together and see what we can improve for tomorrow. So qualifying about to get underway for round four. Yeah, qualifying went really good. Um, actually, didn't expect it to be that good because I still made it into Super Pole with uh, Group 2. And then also in Super Pole, I started uh, as a second car and still finished in P3. So now I'm looking forward to the race. And today we qualified well. Um, going into Super Pole, qualified second. Fortunately, we had a, a overpower use, but that's how the rules are in this championship. So we go green in Rome as the safety car comes in. I'm very happy with the podium, but obviously also a bit disappointed to not finish the race in, in first position, because in the beginning it was looking quite promising. I did a good move to get into P1. And there's the move for the lead. Verline ahead of Nato. Um, I'm very happy that already now we have a podium together and we are collecting many points. That's what is important in the beginning of the season. But uh, good that Pascal uh, got on the podium for the team. And in general, we saw we had a, a quick car. We're still learning, yeah. We're still um, very young in, the, in this whole game. And highs and lows, but I think a very positive weekend to, to stay on the front foot, go moving on to, um, to Valencia for the next double header.